Hey guys, what's up? I'm Daniel Shaming, Software Developers. In today's video, I will tell you how to code a tic-tac-toe game by Python GUI. So, first step, like work, is you need to create a window by no matter what GUIs. And the core interface is called GUI, which express view and control of your program. A view can be any output representation, and a control accepts your commands. TK Inter was applied here as a one GUI example. Besides that, board class should be created as a central component of the pattern. It manages all of the functions, the data, the logic, the rules of this application. So what we call it as module. Right, back to the GUI. The best thing you can do is just to work correctly for the properties and the functionalities. So the first properties are to create title, windows, the canvas, to initiate the class. And the second one, you need to create the nine different bottom properties. The different properties uh, need the different handlers to generate the comment from the user. So using a for loop to generate the properties and also the handlers. And finally, we need an instantialized board property. Using the board class you have created in the left. Okay, back to the class board. For the class board, the first property should be the string X. And second one, of course, string O. The third one is string empty. The string we use a space to represent the empty. The first one is a two-dimensional database list to store the current state of uh, X, O, empty, etc. For the functionality of the class boards, we need a turn function to let the computer play after the player click any button, so it should be turned to the computer to play the game. Function number two is a computer AI function to let the computer think, think how to what which which one is the best play after players play. So we use exhaustion algorithm to decide the computer play. Function number three, a boolean function we or not by outputting a boolean parameters just after each play to judge we are not horizontally, vertically, and diagonally. A tile not function also needed in the end. Back to GUI class. In the button handler function, 10 reaction or steps inside this function would be applied. The first step is click button. Second one should be print current state inside of the database parameters. Third one is to charge win or time. If yes, quit the game. Fourth one is disable the, the buttons you have already clicked. The fifth step is to turn computer to play. And the sixth one is computer think, using the AI function to decide the best play it can play. The seventh should be the best play that a computer calculated to refresh the database XY. The eighth one, the print the current state of the database. The ninth one is also to charge win or die if yes, quit the game. 
The last one should be disable the buttons that the computer played. So function finished. Wait for the plane's next click. And last, we also need a restart button and restart button handler to reinitialize the game.